We all love the Loud House, but there are just a few things about it that leave us feeling uncomfortable. Stay tuned to find out the creator of the show's biggest secret. New around here? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to The Things for more great content. Now on to 10 things about Loud House the creators don't want you to know. Skinny dipping. The Loud House is no stranger to dirty jokes. In fact, the show has gotten into trouble numerous times for all of the inappropriate jokes that they have aired. But in the episode, Sweet and Sour, the jokes went a little bit too far. What do we mean, you ask? Well, on the episode, the family goes on vacation. While on vacation, Lincoln's parents, Lynn and Rita, are running around the pool and giggling. They are having so much fun that they end up taking their clothes off and going skinny dipping in the pool. When we saw this, it made us wonder what exactly was going through the creators of the show's mind to make make them think that this was okay. Seriously, parents running around and playing naked? How does that scream appropriate for children? Anyway, eventually the parents get caught and they try to bribe the pool manager. When that doesn't work, the family gets kicked out of the hotel. Have you ever heard of a stranger storyline for a children's show? Where are the creators just sitting in a room with each other thinking, hmm, how can I make this show as inappropriate as possible? Because if that's the case, then they definitely succeed it. Rody to Nowhere Okay, so we know a lot of shows have mistakes, but seriously, on some episodes of The Loud House, it's like the creators weren't even trying. Take the episode Rody to Nowhere, for instance. In the episode, Luna finds out that she will be headlining what is called the Royal Rumble. Of course, she is super excited, but that excitement only lasts until she finds out that her Rody chunk used to also have the same dreams that she did and also headlined the same show when he was her age. This scares Luna because Chunk is basically a bum now who lives in his van and collects junk, which is awkward and sad, but let's get to the mistake in the episode. So while Luna is performing, she absolutely slays the performance, but there was one moment of the performance that threw us off. At one point, you can still hear a guitar playing, even though both of Luna's hands are raised in the air. Unless she's figured out a way to play the guitar with no hands, then we are pretty sure that that was a mistake. Did the creators not notice this mistake? They must not have, because we can't imagine that they would have left it in there. No place like homeschool. Speaking of mistakes, the show obviously doesn't care about them. The creators are not perfectionists by any stretch of the word. Another example of that is the episode No Place Like Homeschool. In the episode, all of the kids are super jealous that Lola gets to be homeschooled. For some reason, they imagine that homeschooling will be super easy and she'll basically get the whole day off to do whatever she wants. Because of this, Lincoln tries to convince his parents to let him be homeschooled too. They agree, but say if they want to be homeschooled, they have to get all of their work done on their own. Lola Lola then tells the rest of the kids that if they're going to keep up with what their parents said, then they can't wait until the last second to do their work. Obviously, they don't listen to her and spend the whole week playing around. Stressed out, they ask Lola to help them at the end of the week. She does, but then she ends up being too tired to do her own work. Because of this, she's almost sent back to regular school, but the other kids convince their parents to give her another chance. Here comes the mistake. When Lola finds out she doesn't have to go back to school, she is wearing gloves. But when she hugs her siblings, she's not wearing any gloves. Weird, right? The white hair. There are so many mistakes in The Loud House that you would think the creators were doing it on purpose. In fact, they may actually be doing it on purpose and the joke is on us. Anyway, in the episode The White Hair, the mistakes just keep on coming. In the episode, Lincoln wants to impress the new girl in town, so obviously he dresses up like he's straight out of Greece. When his sisters see that he is trying to impress a girl, they get excited and really want to help their brother. Unfortunately, he won't let them help, so instead he goes to school on his own without their help. And that's where the mistakes in the episode take place. While he was waiting for the bus, he tries to hide from his sisters. The weird thing about this is that Lincoln usually walks to school. Fans were quick to point out this error. They also noticed that Warren the rabbit ran from his sisters. The rabbit who was playing the Chase Music's dress changed from purple to pink. As if that wasn't enough mistakes, in another episode, Lincoln convinces his sister Lucy that she should be herself to impress guys. But in this episode, he is pretending to be someone else. None of it makes Makes sense. Hidden Mario. There are a lot of hidden messages in The Loud House, and weirdly enough, a lot of them are references to Super Mario. Why? We are not 100% sure. Maybe the creators are just super into Mario. Whatever the reasoning behind it is, Mario is super prevalent in the show. It's so prevalent that fans have even compared Lola to Peach. Think about it. Peach and Lola do look quite similar. The creators haven't confirmed the link, but it would make sense. If you need more proof of the references, take a look at the episode Butterfly Effect. 
right. In it, Lisa is wearing a red cap that is so similar to Mario's that it's a bit creepy. It's the same color, shape, and everything, but that's not even the only coincidence. In the episode Pulp Friction, Luann did something that was super similar to what you can do in the Mario Kart series. In the episode, she throws a boomerang at her principal's golf cart, and then Luna throws a banana pill in front of the golf cart. Once it hits the banana pill, the cart swerves until it spins out. If you have ever played Mario Kart, then you know that this is a move that is pretty normal in the games. Coincidence? We think not. The Crew If you were a crew member working on a show, wouldn't you want to include yourself in the show? Well, the creators probably don't want you to know this, but that is exactly what they did. In fact, you can see the entire production crew in one episode. You may not have known this if you aren't a Loud House super fan, but don't worry, we watch enough of this show to point out all of the things that you may have missed. If you have watched all of the behind the scenes clips of the show, then you probably know the names of the crew and cast members. All of the crew members, including show creator Chris Savino, are all in the episode for bros about to rock. Of course, the actual crew members aren't on the show, but cartoon versions of the crew. And that isn't the only episode they are in either. In the episode, The Loudest Yard, they are featured again. They are the ones in the crowd watching the game. There have been mixed feelings about the crew being in the show. On the one hand, it's kind of cool to see the people who make the show in it. But on the other hand, isn't it kind of narcissistic to put yourself in a show that you create? Personally, we think it's pretty cool. World of Warcraft References now, if you've been watching The Loud House for a while, then you know there are lots of references to other things on the show. But one of the references is so subtle that it seems like the creators probably didn't even want us to figure it out. So, if you're a gamer, then you have probably heard of World of Warcraft. For some reason, the creators are obsessed with putting little odes to the game all throughout the show. In the episode, Spell It Out, the show references a World of Warcraft video that went viral. In the video, the players try to figure out what kind of weapons that they are going to use when another player named Leroy Jenkins skips the orientation and goes directly into battle. He yells his own name and goes into battle while the rest of the team tries to catch up. The clip became super popular. In the episode of The Loud House, the kids play a game that looks super similar to the world of Warcraft. While playing, Rusty shouts out his name like Leroy did. It's such a small reference that many people probably didn't catch it. Since the show is known for making references, we wonder why the creators decided to make this one so subliminal. Subliminal promotion. You know what subliminal messages are, right? They are messages that are pretty much hidden in other messages. The intent is to get you to think of something without directly telling you to think of it. The Loud House creators are notorious for doing this, especially when it comes to other Nickelodeon shows. The episode, Link or Swim, is actually chock full of references. In the episode, the family goes to a community swimming pool, but unfortunately, they can't seem to have fun there. While at the swimming pool, a lot of familiar faces pop up in the background of the show. If you pay close attention, you can even see Lou Pickles from Rugrats, and even Grandpa Phil from Hey Arnold. But the special guests don't end there. Miss Bitters from Invader Zim is also there, along with Miss Fowl from The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. You can even see Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender. Do you think that the creators of the show are always including references to other Nickelodeon shows as a way to get people to watch their shows? It's like they're forcing us to watch an advertisement within a show. If you didn't pay close attention to the episode, then you might have missed those other characters entirely. Rabbit Family now that you love The Loud House, you probably can't imagine the show being any other way than it already is. That's what usually happens when you find a show and fall in love with it. But many of the shows that we see on television today didn't start out with the same themes or even storylines. When the creators are making a show, for instance, in The Loud House, the family was originally supposed to be a family of rabbits. When the show's creator, Chris Savino, originally pitched the idea for the show, he said that he actually wanted the family to be a family of rabbits. Instead of having 10 sister rabbits, he originally wanted to have 25 of them. Chris felt that since rabbits often do multiply, it was a funny spin to add to the show. Plus, he really wanted to do a show around animals after he had done human-based shows for so long. But while he was fine-tuning the show, people told him that they felt like he would have more of a chance if the show were about humans. So he simply took off the bunny ears and tail and took the number of sisters down from 25 to 10 and voila, we have the cartoon we all know and love. Creator fired. Can you imagine creating a show and then being fired from working on it? 
As the creator of a show, you probably feel like the safest one on the set. But apparently, when it comes to television, no one is ever safe. The creator of The Loud House, Chris Savino, had to find that out the hard way. Amidst allegations of harassment, Chris was suspended from the show. A day after that, he was fired completely. Fans were shocked that someone who created something so wonderful and funny could do such horrible things. Four days after he was fired from the show, Chris finally released a statement about the whole thing on Facebook. He said that he was deeply sorry and ashamed of his actions. He went on to say that he now understands that his actions were wrong and that he should have known better and acted better. He also said that he has respect for all of the women that spoke out against him. Around 12 women came forward to accuse Savino of misconduct. It's crazy to think that someone who was doing such gross things behind the scenes was making such a great television show. It just shows you that you never know what people are capable of. That's it for 10 things about Loud House. The creators don't want you to know. Were you surprised by anything on the list? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.